Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to set up TP-Link Archer Air R5 as an access point. Let's get into it right now. Step number one. You might know that the access point mode requires cable connection with your main router. And before you start running any cables, make sure you're clear on the purpose of setting up the access point. For example, if you want to create just separate access point, like for your home office with separate network name and password, just only for you, uh, continue to the step two right away. But if you want to create seamless uh, Wi-Fi coverage through your house, uh, make sure that the coverage is really seamless. To do this, uh, do not connect any cables so far, just uh, power on your access point in the place where it's supposed to be. Then take the weakest smartphone in your house and walk through a home and make sure that from anywhere uh, of your home, uh, your smartphone can see both main routers network and at least one of TP-Link setup networks. Uh, you can find the network name and by the way, password on the product label on the back panel of your router. And uh, if you have some Wi-Fi dead zones in your house, uh, probably you just need to uh, move router closer to each other or even buy one more access point if your house is big enough. Uh, so make sure your Wi-Fi uh, coverage is seamless and then uh, plug in the Ethernet cable to one port. Make sure you plug it into one port and the other end of this cable plug into LAN output on your main router. Uh, if your provider supports high speeds and your router has high speed port, you can also use uh, this port. But in my case, uh, normal port is just enough. The next step, you need to connect your computer to your access point setup network using that credentials on the product label. So find the network 5G or 2.4G, doesn't matter. Uh, connect to this network using the password from the product label. I'm connecting without password because to save time, I've entered it before. Once connected, it automatically opens a web browser and takes you to the web interface of your router. And the first thing to do is create the device password. You will use this password to manage device after setup, so write it down or remember it very well, because if you forget this password, you will not be able to manage the device, and so you will need to do a hard reset and set up everything from scratch. Uh, click on let's get started. And now you need to change operation mode. You need to click here, switch to access point, Hit OK, reboot, and and wait for this line to fill to 100%. It takes for about 1.5 minutes. Once you see this screen, actually your access point already works. Uh, you just have been disconnected and connected back to your main router. But we haven't finished our setup yet and we need to access uh, the access point web interface once again. Uh, to do this, this time you need to stay connected to your main router because IP address is changed and we need to find it out. So uh, the next step might be a little bit tricky, but um, it's still feasible. So you need to enter your main router router's web interface now. So open a new tab and type in your main router's IP address. Apply to the user manual or Google for IP address of your router or maybe you have changed it your, yourself. So uh, it's easy to find the IP address of any router. Uh, then hit enter, enter your admin password of your main router, then sign in. And what you need is find something like attached devices or clients or connected devices, depending on your router model. So you need to find section like this, where your devices show up on the screen. And uh, you need to find TP-Link Archer R5. This is your router's model and find its IP address next to its name. Copy this IP address, then paste it in a new tab. And now it takes you to the access point web interface. Now enter the password you've just created. Something is wrong. If, if you see the screen once again, make sure you're connected to your router and try in a different browser. Paste. So enter password. 
login. And now continue setup. So uh, select your time zone. Uh, never mind, just for example, uh, hit next. Then I recommend you to enable Smart Connect to combine 2.4 and 5 gigahertz into one uh, unified network, and your devices will uh, select the corresponding network automatically at the highest possible speed. So I recommend you Smart Connect. Uh, make sure wireless radio is enabled and now uh, if you want to create separate uh, access points uh, dedicated uh, you need to use a different name than uh, the name of your main router if you want to create seamless uh, network vice versa you need to name your access point same as your main router let's do like this main router the same name and the same password and your devices no longer need to uh, be connected without with this password because they already connected to a ma main router and uh, when you uh, step in the access point coverage it has the same password so your device will just uh, just will see no difference and connect automatically uh, then hit next it's testing your connection here is your summary so hit finish and that's pretty, the access point is already set up. And uh, one more thing to show you, uh, by the way, if you see this window, click on update and wait for update. You want to use the latest firmware of your router, I think. Uh, also, you can log into your TP-Link ID uh, to use features as cloud service and remote control. But in this video, we will skip this step. And I want to show you one more thing. If uh, your access point was set up as main router before, you can switch operation mode. You don't have even to uh, reset your device. Just click on advanced, then go to system and find operation mode, then switch from wireless router to uh, access point and repeat the previous steps. Go to your uh, main router's web, web interface, get the IP address, and uh, also you can change name or keep the same name as before and so on. And now let's open Wi-Fi settings. As you can see, um, TP-Link networks disappeared from here and now you have just one seamless network through your house. And that's pretty, that's how it works. I hope this was helpful. If yes, consider to subscribe to our channel, support us with your likes. If you have any questions, leave a comment under this video uh, and see you in the next videos. Be awesome. Bye guys.